341 kilometers or for the American folk, 212. Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. My name is Damon Fryer. This is my homeboy Gabe. And we're Googling the specs of the McLaren 720S behind me because McLaren gave it to me and uh, I didn't do my homework. Welcome to all the new people. Smash that subscribe button. This video is gonna be a lot of fun because we don't know what we're talking about. I do know supercars, I daily drive them. And one of the first things that I always look for in a supercar is the frunk space. So let's usability. pop it up. Usability. Usability. You know, <laughs> enough of the mumbo jumbo. Usability of this car, we give a five out of five as far as supercars go. There is a ton of frunk space. We have a large uh, backpack. We have my drone and two very bulky XL gentlemen's winter coats, which ironically, it's actually not that cold out today, even no. though we're standing on top of a mountain and there's yeah. snow. Sexiness, definitely dead gorgeous. This car has a ton of carbon fiber, which any man who loves supercars or who's a car enthusiast loves carbon fiber. So the more of it usually increases the sexy factor. Yeah. So as far as carbon goes, this thing's a five out of five. It's got carbon everywhere. Carbon inserts on the hood, carbon inserts at the headlight. We have a, a full carbon diffuser at the front. This thing has absolutely massive carbon ceramic brakes. McLaren states, and we read this online when we were Googling all yeah. the stats, uh, they state that this is just shy of the equivalent stopping power of their previous hypercar, the McLaren P1. So how did it feel when you're driving it? Uh, really good. Let's talk about tires. This car normally comes with uh, the Pirelli P0. P0s. Right now, it's got the Pirelli Soto Zero winter tires because that's what you have to have to drive any vehicle up any mountain passes. Coming to the back of the car, all active aero as far as the wing. It also doubles not just for downforce but also as a, an air brake. Yep. So uh, when we're rolling at some decent speed, highway speed, the speed limit. Yes. <laughs> but it activates it quite easily, which looks super cool yep. and is helping you slow down quicker. Down a little lower to the bumper. Mid bumper exiting exhaust. That's a racy cool looking thing. And then again, more carbon fiber with a full carbon rear diffuser. And I, I like this look. I like the, the openness where you can see things like the transmission and all that. You can see some of the exhaust components. You um, demonstrated that well with your car. Yeah, yeah. My car is very open at the moment. Yes. I'm a big fan of these wheels and I like them in the stealth coating. I believe that's what they call it, like a stealth graphite color. They're not exactly black, but they're just a really dark, dark, flat gray. Now, this McLaren has, what is it? It is called a mono. A mono. Cage. Cage. Two. So there must have been an original one on yes. that older McLaren. If you don't know this, now, if some of you are like McLaren freaks, you're, you're probably rolling over right yeah. now, like laughing how bad that I don't know any of this, but I've never owned a McLaren. And the one, oh, by the way, one of the reasons why we're shooting this video is because I'm actually shopping for a new supercar. This car could be the first McLaren candidate for that because this is the first car where you can actually turn everything off. And it has a drift mode. It actually has a screen where you can choose how far you're willing to let the back end go out. It's why amazing. Don't, why don't we get into that and have a look at it? Monocup. <laughs> By the way, this is the first McLaren that they've put this forged carbon fiber on. So they have forged carbon, they have the thicker weave carbon for the uh, mono cell, and then they have all this tighter weave. I think this yeah. stuff's just more cosmetic. Dry on the steering wheel. Yeah, dry on the steering wheel. Um, the seats are gorgeous. Yeah, and very comfy too. Like, I'm a nimble 250 and these things feel great <laughs> nimble 250 yeah hey let's show everybody how the door works and how it, it's cut in one sec hold that thought show them how this all goes down all right so one thing i'd like to point out too is your arm space goes into the door so it's super roomy in here it's it is amazing roomy. and they notch the roof so you're not going to hit your head good i'm coming in oh yeah tons of room that's funky, look at that. Yeah, did it on this screen too. Did top it? view. Top view, looking down. Oh, wow. Paddles, uh, quite small paddles. They're attached to the steering wheel. But the neat thing about McLaren is you can use one paddle for all your shifting. You can push forward for shifting up and pull back for shifting down on either side. Something to note, very rad. Now, you would think a supercar would be super tight with a couple of big dudes in it. 
there's a ton of room. Like, yeah. look at our shoulders. Yeah. We're not I even I got headroom, too. Like, it's because there's indentations into these uh, doors, so it goes up, and it's, it's kind of like the Ferrari. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Our yeah. ride out here was extremely comfortable. Yep. Now, yeah. visibility, it's amazing because it's all glass back here, which, and also there's more storage space for luggage with those straps that you can lock down. I'm sure McLaren will sell you some expensive luggage to go with that to match yep. your interior. Do a shoulder check. You can see over your shoulder. There's uh, great visibility. Yep. The mirrors have good visibility. Can we fire this thing up for a sec. A couple of beeps. Now, what's really neat about this is when you have it in um, the settings on here is basically comfort is C, S is for sport, and what we're covering up is T for track. If we turn on active. It fires everything up and when you're in track mode it's going to pop this down slide in and give it this really sleek just simple rpm and speed readings and that's it i mean when you're going fast do you need to see anything else no 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 you have this full touch screen uh here in the center console smothered in dry carbon so it's beautiful i really like the uh, two-tone alcantara in here and overall that's it I mean, we could really dive into all the technical specs, but we're not gonna. Oh, there's a cup holder. That's impressive. I don't have a cup holder in my Huracan. What are we doing here? Oh, USB, USB ports, two of them. Awesome. What do we, let's have a show. Oh, yep. What do you think, brother? I like it. It's actually very comfy. I'm a big fan of this thing. I'm a big fan too. We need to see what it performs like, which is why we have it for a couple of days. Before this video is over, why don't we leave it running? Actually, let's turn it off. You start it up and do a couple of revs and that's where we'll end this portion. If you guys want more information on the car, there's gonna be a few more videos on my channel. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Also hit the notification bell and uh, you'll be the first to make sure that you're in the know with what's going on with uh, my channel and the crazy epic, a lot of the time, stupid stuff that I do. <laughs> Here, we'll turn it off and let Gabe fire it up for you guys so you can hear it. Oh man, those doors. I just noticed how insane those uh, taillights are. Look at that. You don't really see them until it's on. And then look how thin they are. Yeah. Like. It's very P1-ish. It is. The back end is very P1-ish, which P1 is a very good thing. Yeah. I fit. You fit. Yes. Woo. Let's try something for a sec. Yeah. I'm thinking the reason why I won't let you rev up. Now try. Oh. Unleash the beast. get a shot of the dash in race mode when you're doing that. Wow. That thing's crazy. Well, I hope you guys loved this episode. We wanted to keep it short and sweet, just to the basics. There's going to be plenty more to come on the 720S. Again, thanks to McLaren for extending the trust. We're taking good care of her. <laughs> Gabe's about to bounce on me, so I got to end this video. Stay tuned for the rest of you guys. Peace. Good times in the 720 game? Yes. This thing is fast. Scary fast. I'll show you. Getting on the highway. He's into it. Third gear. Merge with traffic. No problem. We're going faster than them. Because I was like, ah, this thing's cool, man.